It's becoming a familiar refrain. Canadians should support homegrown products and businesses. And the Prime Minister just announced a Buy Canada policy. But will this new approach actually boost Canadian industry, especially the tech sector? We're joined by Christian Weedbrook. He's founder of Xanadu, which is working on a, 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 a data center scale quantum computer in Toronto. That's right. Thank you for having me. So what, just remind us how this, I know, I know you can't get into the, the technical weeds, but what would be different about this computer you're building? Well, I always go back to one of the computers we built in the past, which is kind of a demonstration of what the future uh, data center will look like. Uh, we solved a problem that would have taken the world's fastest supercomputer in the world at the time, seven million years to solve, oh. and we actually solved it in uh, two minutes. So that's an incredible feat. And it was all done here in Canada as well, using predominantly Canadian talent. So we're really excited to continue that and ultimately, as you said, to build a quantum data center. And this will be obviously capable of extremely fast uh, calculations. Yeah, that's right. The seven million years to two minutes was for actually a, a, a bis, uh, for an ap academic problem. So not really a business problem. But this quantum data center will be doing a similar sort of, uh, you know, millions of years to minutes uh, for things such as important things such as uh, pharmaceuticals and drug discovery, material design, uh, quantum chemistry and artificial intelligence. And you say you're already in the single digit millions in, in revenue? We are actually and looking to uh, boost that to uh, over $10 million in the next six months. And so roughly how much have you raised, would you say? We've raised uh, $290 million so far. Not too shabby. Yeah, Not where, too shabby. Where, where is the center going to be in Toronto? Can you uh, we're looking at the waterfront, uh, mm -hmm. but we are open. I think the key factor there is making sure we have it uh, in Toronto and in Canada first. So when you hear by Canada um, rhetoric from the federal government, what do you think? I mean, a lot of our tech providers are foreign right now. I'm really excited about that. Quantum computing, the industry has a chance of creating a, a new large scale uh, industry and Canada is at the forefront, particularly with Xanadu. And I think it's exciting times. Obviously, the, the, the downside of the obvious downside to all the tariffs and all the sort of fractured relationships so far between us and our southern neighbors. Um, I think it creates an opportunity to, as the uh, Prime Minister said, buy in Canada, but also create and commercialize in Canada on projects like quantum computing, which will create industries uh, from it. So we're really excited and it can be done here in Canada. Because we often do hear that the government just turns to multinational consulting companies and tech providers. Not, I mean, they probably could say, well, the domestic players don't have the scale. It's true to some extent, but how do you get scale in the end if you're not trying to get scale from the start? And so we've had many opportunities to sort of go to the US. Uh, we've decided to stay firmly here in Canada. And if you look at the history of quantum computing, um, the same thing for artificial intelligence. The last two decades, uh, the Canadian government and Canadian ecosystem has been building the talent here through all the different universities. So it would be a shame to see the upteenth number of time of that being formed here, but then being commercialized uh, outside of Canada. And Xanadu is firmly, uh, you know, is not leaving and it's our, it's our kind of right and prerogative to actually build something great here in Canada and create this scale that has previously been lacking. Have you any worries though about the procurement process at the federal level? It is notoriously encrusted by bureaucracy. It is a challenge. Uh, we've had great support so far from the Canadian government, uh, which is really great. Uh, it is a challenge. I think a challenge with most governments how to speed that up. Uh, we're hopeful through what the Prime Minister and uh, Minister Solomon has been saying that this will be sped up and they're really taking interest to making sure that this does not become a blocker to build something great here in Canada. So we have really a foreign owned auto sector in this country and um, Stellantis, Ford and GM welcomed the news that they're postponing the mandate to sell a minimum number of electric vehicles. Um, what, I mean, they have failed to deliver electric vehicle models people want to buy. The Chinese have done so. They're not allowed in here. We can debate that. But what, what was your reaction when you heard that the government is backing down on the EV mandate? My first reaction was, I hope that doesn't happen in the, um, the quantum sector here. Um, there's been a lot of talk and uh, about boosting the Canadian uh, quantum ecosystem. So um, I, I don't have much, you know, I'm not an expert in v EVs. We actually, one of our use cases will be using quantum computers to develop next generation uh, electric vehicle batteries. And so, um, but for us, it's we're, we're heads down building this quantum data center, building something great here and hoping that we get um, support from the Canadian government, continued support to do that. 
What about power for a quantum computer? I guess it would be less than the demand, the electricity demand, than for a comparable, compar conventional computer. Yeah, that's one of the huge advantages. And furthermore, we actually use photonics or light to build our quantum computer, which gives you uh, more energy savings ultimately as well. Uh, the the uh, seven million years down to two minutes example I gave you, you, you can already imagine in your head how much energy savings that was. But the take home is it's very important um, uh, industries like pharmaceuticals, material design, quantum chemistry, AI, uh, it would have taken in the future, it would take hundreds of normal data centers for one of our data centers. And so, you know, you got automatically hundreds, a hundred times improvement in energy savings as well. I mean, as you know, they're actually looking to install small nuclear reactors to traditional data centers. That's where the energy is going off the charts. So quantum computing offers uh, one of the important solutions to that in the future. Xanadu, you named the company after the Olivia Newton-John song, but her granddad was Max Born, the famous quantum physicist. It, it, it's true, and uh, I, not many people know that. And so it's an incredible thing. We were named after the song by Olivia Newton-John. And uh, Max Born was one of the great physicists of, of the last century, and he is still influencing us to this day. Wow. He, um, his assistants included Arnico Fermi, Werner Heisenberg, Wolfgang Pauli, so when you have a, an wow. Edward Teller, when you have assistants like that, you know yes. you're a high power guy. Yes, exactly right. Great stuff, Christian. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you for having me. Christian Weedbrook, founder and CEO of Xanadu. Uh,